Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun unboxing of what I believe is a gift from my Secret Santa. So I joined Alicia's Not So Secret Santa um, swap about a couple of months ago and I had sent my package off to Tammy Stamping Therapy um, because I was her Secret Santa but I didn't know who my Secret Santa was and it turns out I believe my Secret Santa is Alicia who is um, from Alicia's Crafty Hop Lop. So I received this package right before Christmas but didn't have time to open it and today I have the unboxing. So this looks really fun already and I'm going to take everything out and be right back. Okay, so there's three main packages in this box and this box says open this box first, homemade goodies. And it says it's from my Secret Santa, so I'm gonna do this one first just because it instructed me to, even though um, this other package here was at the very top. So let's see what's in here. This is so exciting to be opening things after Christmas. Oh, this is so pretty. Felicia, I just, love looking at this already. <laughs> some pink shreds, some fun, you know, iridescent and silver uh, vase filler. Oh, I love how she did this bag topper. This hot pink bristle brush and um, this van or trailer gift tag. Does that stay on top? I don't know if it's supposed to, oh, I don't think it stays on top. Oh, maybe it was. Oops, sorry, Alicia. I think I broke this off the top because there is some hot glue here, so I don't know if, if this was meant to be on top. I'll glue gun it back if it was meant to be on the top. So sorry. So how fun is this? She gave me this um, embellishment, and it's this big coffee mug that says, I craft so hard I sweat glitter. <laughs> it's kind of true. It's hard to get rid of glitter once you have it, once you're working with it. And this is so fun, this um, silver and white tinsel um, yarn. I love that. And she put more of that base filler and pink shred in there. This is really pretty. Love that. Oh, and here are some additional embellishments that she made me. This is, um, okay, some Mary Day's chipboard with other collections I've, I don't think I've seen before. And it, oh, I think she did this on top of, it looks like um, kind of like an, a chip, chipboard ornament. And so that's a chipboard ornament. This one just looks to be um, a scallop circle. And I can't even tell what this is, but she I think dangled these really pretty um, snowflakes on them. They, they look to be like rose gold or bronze colored. That's really pretty. I love that. They're so fun. I love all the pinks and there's just like dark pinks and reds and hot pinks. I, I, I like traditional, but I also love the pops of pinks for um, holiday crafting. This is really fun. I love that too. And Alicia loves to do, so sorry for all the glare because everything's in this package. Um, Alicia loves to do stamping. I think she's got a newfound love for it. So she stamped this reindeer and then she colored it all in. She put a heart, um, what do you call those? Um, oh my gosh, it's escaping, eyelet, a heart eyelet. And then she glued this um, pom-pom on either side of the reindeer, reindeer's antlers. That is really fun and, and it's a tag. And I'm sure she thickened it up. She, she's really good about um, making her tags really sturdy. That is very fun and I love all the, the holographic packaging. Oh wow. So Alicia knows that I really love trims and she used this, I think this is Hobby Lobby trim. And then she put this really delicate iridescent trim across the bottom there. And then this really pretty lacy, or not lace, but an applique. It almost looks like a, I don't know, it's just a, a flower applique, but it kind of reminds me of a poinsettia too. And fa la la, that's really pretty. And of course the inside, oh, she made me this really neat charm, a, a dangle, and it's got a gummy bear, a heart lollipop, 
and a butterfly and this really neat kind of 3D pyramid charm. I'll have to figure out where to hang this because this is really, really cool. I love the different colors. I don't usually craft with purples and blues, but I love when people do craft with it. That's really, really pretty. Thank you for that, Alicia. I keep dropping all this stuff ever. Oh, you know what? There was, there was this little hook here or um, attachment. I think this might've fallen off of that, but this is a really pretty dangle that she made with her favorite trim from Hobby Lobby. Um, it kind of has Easter colors and it's this um, unique trim. I can't remember what it's called, um, but she put a really beautiful snowflake. I think it might be, I don't know if it's a button, but it's a flat back. And she also dangled this crown that ha is filled with stars and this really pretty deer, which I, I've not seen before. What a pretty dangle. I love the colors. These are like really pretty kind of Easter pastel colors. Love that. Oh, I just saw her do a post about this. Okay, this I'm gonna open up. Sorry for the crinkle. Mm -hmm. Alicia just posted about um, the Sizzix flower guide, which she said can be a bit challenging to work with. Sorry, I'm going to do this as quickly as possible, but um, she said it's kind of finicky but it's really pretty when you layer it all up. So it's it's a flower, sorry, I was out of frame, a flower, a layered flower embellishment. But I think it has like the center, the stamen, um, and then the main flower piece, and then the edges of the petals. And then she layered two flowers and she used this really nice gold holographic star paper, which I have not seen before. And then she also used a similar kind of holographic um, green star paper so you can kind of see all that and this one is kind of a little bit more matte than this one this one is just gold foil paper really pretty thank you alicia i know that's hard work to paper piece everything and then next she oh wow she made me a bunch of bows oh wow okay i had seen this i don't know if it was from hobby lobby but this type of um pink snowflake. I think I've seen it at Hobby Lobby. I passed on it. So thank you so much for giving that to me. It's gorgeous. And I like this chipboard holiday wishes from the Merry Days collection. And then look at these pretty bows. I think this is a KS craft die. So it's flat bows and she put some pink, this pink resin heart here. Sorry, I'm out of frame again. Um, that again, that snowflake a rose gold color snowflake, and she has my name on it. Love that. And then this one, she kept it very simple. And then all throughout, she's used foil or um, iridescent foil paper. And I like how she combined it with this kind of teal colored um, plain paper. That's gorgeous. Oh. Wow, she, she really worked hard to do, um, to make embellishments on each of these bag toppers. Here's this really pretty tassel that she made with purple iridescent yarn and this purple tinsel yarn. And then she put a paper clip on top, or sorry, a clothespin on top with pink tulle and again, this um, flat back silver um, piece here. And then everyone's precious now is this Martha Stewart doilies which are no longer being sold so thank you for sharing that with me and then look at all these layered candy canes I didn't buy this Michaels collection because I have um, paper from a previous collection but this one seems to be really fun everyone's crafting with this one this year and I I love all the colors because it's like a pastel rainbow so she layered this um, striped paper over a white iridescent paper and then she put pink bows on them. 
really pretty and I can use this as tags and she's um, put some fun fur through each of those holes so I can use those next year for gifting or I could probably even oh, I guess it's a candy cane but I was thinking oh I could maybe use it for Easter but probably not since it's a candy cane and how fun she used these chipboard um, pieces from I think these are available through Joann's and then she did, glittered up some gnomes I know she's been also stamping these and coloring them so it's a lot of work and she's pretty accurate with all the coloring into these really little spaces so it's a lot of work and you know not only did she color it but she also added glitter to it so thank you thank you for all the hard work and of course all this fun fun shred and um vase filler here so i'll be right back with part two of this because i gotta put this away and then um, bring out the other packages. I'll be right back. <laughs> 